After one of the most controversial Eurovisions ever, it was Switzerland's Nemo that cracked the winner's code. The song securing the first Swiss victory since Celine Dion in 1988. The first non-binary entrant to win the contest, they proudly displayed their flag and were dismayed by reports fans had theirs removed. This is clearly like a double standard and, and um, as I said, like, I, I broke the code and I broke the trophy. Maybe the, the trophy can be fixed. Maybe Eurovision needs a little bit of fixing too every now and then. Oblivious to the drama, spectators went wild at the result. I'm 20, I've never seen Switzerland winning, so I'm like the happiest person alive right now. <laughs> and while the final was the Eurovision ride most were used to, getting there was far from usual. This contest aimed to unite people, but this year politics has threatened to overshadow pop and backstage drama to drown out the music. The day started with the disqualification of Netherlands' Jos Klein over allegations of threatening behaviour. Then until the last second, it was feared Ireland's Bambi Thug would also miss the final after they pulled out of rehearsals following a situation backstage. When they did perform... They seem to flout the strict no politics rule with a message for peace. Seems like it's been total chaos. It has been chaos, but you know what? I have an incredible group of queer friends and thankfully my favourite non-binary won the competition and I'm so proud of us all. And the top six minus one were all freedom fighters. But the participation of Israel's Eden Golan was the contest's main source of controversy. Hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters rallied against the decision to let her compete as war rages in Gaza. And while some of the audience booed when she took to the stage, Israel scored well in the public vote. I've been sending good vibes. I've been focusing on um, spreading love and spreading good energy and um, getting to know everyone. Um, yeah. So you're happy with the result? Yes, I'm over the moon about the results. The UK's Ollie Alexander didn't fare as well, getting a dreaded nil point from the public. But it seems all the chaos and controversy couldn't dampen the dancing or the love of TV's kitschest competition. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Malmö.